Have you noticed that your business is a little quieter at the end of the year? That is totally normal. And in this week's video, we are talking about the end of year lull and how you can use this quiet time to supercharge your business for 2024. What's up everyone, I'm Erin. If you're new to the channel, I teach virtual assistance tips, tools, tutorials, and trainings. And this week we're talking about the holiday lull. This is the end of the year when for many of us, our businesses get really, really quiet. Partly I want to ensure you that this is a totally normal cycle and part of your business. November and December tend to be a lot quieter for clients because they are also preparing for holidays. They're maybe preparing for holidays with their families. They're maybe traveling. Uh, this is typically a time when you'll see fewer tasks come across your desktop. And I do this video every year because every year, even though even myself, I've been doing this for over a decade. And when it gets really quiet at the end of the year, I always inevitably have that freak out moment where I'm like, everyone is preparing to fire me. And you know what? It's not true. <laughs> it's just that everyone is busy. Everyone is living. Everyone is happily taking some much needed rest and relaxation themselves. So in this video, we're going to talk about the benefits of year end preparation, how you can use these quiet periods as an opportunity to prepare for a successful year ahead. The first thing I always recommend people do at the end of the year is review your own finances. This is time for you to review your income and your expenses. How much money are you getting from each individual client that you have? And how much money are you spending on everything? Things like your rent, your mortgage, your car, your insurance, um, travel, personal stuff, whatever it is. We need to make sure that you are charging enough money that it covers all of your basic expenses and hopefully leave some extra leftover for savings. So when you review your finances, now is a good time to ask yourself a few questions. Ask yourself, is there anything in your expenses column that you can get rid of next year? Maybe you have an expensive gym membership and you decide not to renew. Maybe you realize you're spending a ton of money on groceries and how can you help get that bill down? Maybe you're realizing that you're spending way too much money on, on tools that you thought you needed for your business and you don't use it all. It happens to the best of us. I love to go through things that I'm spending money on for my business and be like, Erin, am I still using this tool? Is it worth it to me? Or can I cancel this subscription or can cancel this membership? So it's really good to look at your finances. This is also a great way for you to be like, hey, have I raised my rates in a while? Is it time for me to maybe raise my rates incrementally for 2024? Can I add an extra five to $10 to my rate? And then what would that do to my overall income? Another thing to do with your newfound downtime is to look at skills. Are there any new skills that you could acquire and offer for your business? Or have you found that clients are asking for tasks that you could maybe shore up your skills on. Like maybe you have a client who's asking you to do a lot of graphic design and you're still feeling a little rusty. Are there any YouTube videos or online courses you could take about Canva or Photoshop? And how might that help your business in 2024? The third most important thing that I think everybody should be looking at their business at the end of the year is client retention. So hear me out. Maintaining strong client relationships is the backbone of our business. People work with people that they like. And so it is very important that you as a VA are maintaining a good relationship with your clients. And even if they are more quiet than usual, they're sending you less tasks than usual, I highly recommend that you spend December sending out holiday greetings, send out cards where you're expressing how much you're grateful for your business relationship, or take it a step further and send them gifts. I actually send my clients candles every single year from a different vendor. Uh, it is my small way to say thank you, I'm thinking of you, thank you for supporting me in my VA business. And who doesn't like to get a gift? Everybody loves it. And so I recommend that you take some time at the end of the year to really make sure that your relationships with your clients are strong. Now let's shift a little bit because I think another thing that's really important at the end of the year is that you are taking care of yourself. Quiet times from clients can be stressful, but you can also use that downtime as self-care. It is 
in fact, pretty imperative that you use this time to rest, to recharge, to to find a nice work-life balance during the holidays where you're spending time with family, where you're spending time with friends or loved ones, or maybe for you that means you take longer walks in the afternoon because you can't because there's fewer emails coming in. But now is the time for you to rest and recharge because a rested brain is more likely to be able to take on the craziness that I guarantee you is coming down the pipeline in January and February. And finally, I just wanna use this opportunity to remind you that this quiet time at the end of the year is a temporary lull. As a reminder, if you guys are looking for new skills to tackle or just make sure that your current skills are up to par, I have tons of courses on my website. They're priced from $12, uh, 12 US dollars each, or you can join my membership, which for $10 a month gets you access to all of my current and future courses. I know it's wild, but for $10 a month, you could be training yourself on skills, on things that clients want, on new niches, on running your business, all that good stuff. I hope to see you in my courses, especially in the new year where we're gonna hit the ground running real hard. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on next week's video.